and welcome to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II, and I am the Theater Professor. This week we are continuing our discovery and exploration of Paintstorm Studio. Before I jump into that, if you are watching this on YouTube, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I love subscribers. I do these things for you guys, and I'm always excited when I have a new one. Or if you're watching this on the website, why don't you join? Become a member. Uh, the artist's membership is free. The Patreon member is a paid membership. You get a couple of perks, and you help to make the website run. So, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for advertising. I'm done. Now, moving on to the crux of the matter, the fun stuff, the enjoyable, the painting. This week, we're going to look at uh, an aspect of the brush called mask, uh, masking the brush. Okay, and what it does is it's very similar to Procreate. If you ever watched my Procreate tutorials, I talk about how the brushes have a shape and a texture. Well, a similar thing happens when you're using the mask brush in uh, in Paintstorm Studio. So jumping right in, I've created this kind of generic brush here, and if I lay down some paint, you'll see very generic, nothing real exciting about it. Okay. But if I come down here and I click Use Mask Brush, watch what happens. Suddenly, my shape has changed. Now you'll notice I haven't changed my shape up here. My, my custom form is still being used. So nothing's being changed except for clicking of the Use Mask Brush. So how is that happening? Well, let me show you something. Right now I have Use Mask Brush at 100% strength, and I'm going to just run a line down here. If I take that and turn it off, you'll see what it looks like without the mask brush. And then if I take it to 50% roughly, and I run it down, what you'll see is the darker color, which is similar to the shape on the left-hand side, and then the lighter color, which kind of encompasses everything like on the right-hand side. So what you're doing when you use the mask brush is you're using settings from another brush and it's masking out this brush. So you're essentially being able to do two sets worth of settings. Let me go a little further into this so you completely understand. I'm going to delete these three things and I'm going to turn this off. So we're going to quickly draw, okay, boom, 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 some paint down. And you're thinking to yourself, well, that's not bad. That's a nice texture. Well, if we come down, click the Use Mask Brush, and then click this image, you'll see that the screen goes gray, and we can choose a mask brush from the brushes panel. So if we start looking, and let's grab something like the leaf. What has just happened now is that all of the settings within this leaf brush have mount, but now been pulled into this mask brush that I've created. And it's going to mask out an area, and the masked area will be what we see. So using the settings that I've created with my brush, it will also implement the settings of the leaves. So again, I'm going to turn it off so you can see this is what it looks like without the mask. Now this is what it looks like with the leaves. Notice, just so you can understand, the difference here, which leaf did I use? I think it's this one. This is the leaf by itself, okay? But I've taken this, put it into this other brush. Ooh, very loud car outside. Put it into the other brush so that this texture, this brush, is constrained by what I've done in this brush. Kind of show you at 50%. You can see here the texture is that darker color. The lighter color is the original. So by turning the mask strength up to full, we lose all of the white, and all we're left with is the texture. So this is a really cool way to kind of bring a little bit of texture into things, into your paintings. Let me clear all this and show you what else can happen. If you invert this, so again, I want to give you a baseline. This is our, this is our paintbrush. This is with the current mask. This 
is at 50%-ish. And if we take this back to full and invert it, what's happening now is the texture is being turned into white and leaving the rest. So let's take this to 50 so you can see. So the texture is the white. Over here, the texture is the red. White, red. So that's what the inversion does, is it inverts the mask. We can, and now understand that not all brushes can be turned into a mask. So if I were to click this, and then say, for example, come to, there, calligraphy. Bristle hairy brush can't be used as a mask. Okay, that's fine. What about transition? Oops, let me grab my brush. Click here. Transition can. So before we go any farther, you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to lay our baseline down. I'm going to turn on our mask, make sure we're at 100%. Now to see what the difference is, is if we come over here and look at transition, this is what transition actually looks like. By putting it into my other brush, I'm getting the texture from the other brush. Scroll back down. Take this to 50 so we can see what the masked area is. The masked area is the dark. If we invert it, now we've got the light, and if we take that strength to 100, we have little holes in the middle, okay? So this is a lot of fun. Essentially what you do is you have to create two brushes, your base brush, and then whatever it is you're going to put within that base brush. Let's see, what other items can we grab? Let's look at, for example, let's grab the roller. Ah, Bristle Harry cannot be used as a mask. They keep telling me that, and I keep ignoring them. Let's see, what about Dirty Cloud? So let's go to our base. It's right there. We'll use the mask at 100. We're getting the texture. If we invert it, now the texture's in the middle. And just to see what we see in regards to the 50%, okay? The other thing is here is you have size connect. And I haven't really played much with that. Oh, we're on the inverted. And then this is the regular. So uh, that's something that I will probably explore in the future. You are able to adjust the mask via pen pressure, all the other things that you're able to. So if we were to, for example, let's go back to using the transition. Now if we come here, take that up, and let's control it by pen pressure. So now if I draw, this is light. Now this is hard. So the lighter I press, the more we see of the mask, and then the harder I press, the more it disappears. Or for example, let's do random. So now we sometimes see it and sometimes don't. Whee! <laughs> oh man. Or you could do stroke speed. So here's slow and fast. Slow, fast. All right. So all of that can be controlled that way. I will show you that down at the bottom, the other thing that you have here is you actually have the use texture. And that's actually been on the whole time. So we've been doing all that with the mask, but I've had the use texture on, so I apologize for that. Um, let me turn that off so that's not bothering us. Okay, good. So now with the use texture, what you're able to do is you're able to grab a texture. And that texture is then built into your into your uh, into your painting. Let's grab this one. This is pebbly. You can kind of see the pebbles underneath. If I were to, let's, I mean, we could adjust the scale, obviously. Let me, let's turn that off. 
Texture strength, we're going to take it to 100. Take it to 11. You can kind of see it underneath. You see the pebbly feel underneath? Okay. I don't really mess with the texture all that much, so that may be something that you want to play with, maybe go a little deeper into. For me, it's really about the... Uh, it's really about the the ability to do these masked brushes and what they can create by using them, which is a lot of fun. We <laughs> sorry, I am uh, sometimes a big kid when it comes to this stuff. Turn on texture too, and you've got all sorts of things going on. All right, you can find a bunch of the presets down here uh, as the very bottom category. Uh, you, you know, play with them, see what you can come up with. If you come up with something really cool, go ahead, post it. Would love to see it. Uh, or if you have a very cu uh, a, a customized masked brush and you'd like to share the settings, I'd love to see them. I'd like to see what people are creating. So make sure that you put those either in the comments if you're on the website or in the comments if you're on the YouTube channel. All right, that's it for this week. Just talking a little bit about mask brush, mask brushes. My name is Terry Dana Jakimiak the second. And you're watching another Theater Professor Vidcast. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>